Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot, TheDailySheeple.com. That's right, home base. Says the death of free speech is imminent. Government begins censorship of media through a disingenuous means. Say it ain't so. I don't know if anybody's noticed, <laughs> but independent media is taking it um, in the shorts with regards to the censorship being exerted on us by the new money trust, if you will, the 21st century money trust, that of Google, Twitter, Facebook, and others that have really embraced the Operation Mockingbird-esque type of um, controlling the narrative, but this time, instead of hiring reporters to do it, they're just snuffing out any sort of independent media that might get in their way. And it says the death of free speech is imminent. Anyone with access to a computer and the internet can see that the United States mainstream media is nothing more than a propaganda machine designed to brainwash the masses into a lemming-like agreement with the government. And now it's oh so ironic that the same government that tells the media what to report on in order to brainwash the public is seeking to quiet those who disagree and label them as propaganda. Some may call it fake news. Others just want a different opinion rather than the left-leaning media hysteria we're so accustomed to. But now media outlet RT, Russia Today, founded in Russia, will have to register with the United States as a foreign media, which will forever give it an inaccurate title of propaganda. This doesn't apply to merely the Russian version of the news outlet, but the American-run and operated sites as well. According to The Hill, in a report on Monday, RT did not name the company that the Department of Justice has compelled to file paperwork under the Foreign Agents Re Registration Act, but blasted the edict as over or overreaching. Quote, The war on the U.S. establishment wages with, the, with our journalists is dedicated to all the starry-eyed idealists who still believe in freedom of speech, those who invented it and those who have buried it. Margarita Simonian of RT's editor-in-chief said about the registration. Now, RT has also contracted with Julian Assange, who runs WikiLeaks and is suspected of leaking internal emails from the Democratic National Committee so that the fact that they're being singled out with attempts to silence their reporting is not a big surprise to anybody with functioning neurons. RT must be a threat to the political elites and the establishment or they would have they've just left them alone. While outlets like CNN brainwash and lie for profits to prop up the wealthy and powerful politicians, they'll stop at nothing to protect. And that really is what's going on. The mainstream media isn't paid by their advertisers to inform you about what's going on or to be the fifth estate and provide the accountability that the press is supposed to provide, you know, for the people. That's not happening anymore. Instead, they're the handmaidens of big business, of the government, and they rely on that money heavily so that they're just going to tout whatever narrative it is that they need to tout as well as turn the other cheek when that company or corporation may screw up. They just sweep it under the rug. The problem goes away. There is no oversight, citizen oversight. There is no accountability. And that is exactly what independent media is trying to do, trying to resurrect that fifth estate and be that 21st century version of the muckrakers of the 20th century that exposed egregious things like the deplorable conditions of the meatpacking industry and others that have trailblazed ways in getting the truth out to the public. And really, folks, when it comes down to it, you have to support independent media. Now, I know a lot of people have limited means, but even if you donate a buck, a buck a month to your favorite mainstream or your favorite independent media site, it would go a long way to help fight the fight because the Googles, the Facebooks, the Twitters, and other websites out there that control the majority of the platforms that independent media uses to get the, the, the information out to you are being hamstrung 
and restricted because they don't want you to know the truth. So we need your help. So go to the Daily Sheeple today. Donate. Go to shtfplan.com. Donate. Go to other sites like Zero Hedge, Blacklisted News, Infowars, all of these independent media sites out there that try to get this information out to the people. Anything you can do to fight the fight. If you're not in the battle, then support those that are. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.